what is up my friends on the internet we are back at it with another video and we are back at it with honda's super cub c125 i love this motorcycle i absolutely love this motorcycle there are a bunch of reasons why you too should love this motorcycle but there are also a few reasons you should not love this motorcycle a few reasons you should not buy this motorcycle there are people who this motorcycle is not right for and in today's episode we are not talking about the positives we are not talking about all the ways this thing knocks it out the park we are talking about the reasons this thing is a flop in the driveway with the Honda Super Cub C125. And like I said before, there are several groups of people who this bike is not for. There are groups of people who absolutely positively do not need to buy this motorcycle. It is not for you. This thing will fail you miserably. Honestly, I think it's great. I have a lot of good things to say about it, but it's not for everyone. And let's go ahead and go down the list of the groups of people that this bike is not for because if you belong to one of those groups, I owe you this information. I can't just paint it in a good light. I have to be honest with you so you don't waste your money. And the very first group of people that should not and will be very, very disappointed if they buy this bike is people whose intention with the motorcycle is to waste gas. If you wanna waste gas, this is not the bike for you. It will fail you miserably. This bike gets a whopping 125 miles per gallon. That is horrible for people trying to waste gas. If your goal is to go out there and just burn it off and just waste every drop you can, not it. Shout out to my new car. I know it's cool. I appreciate your support. You helped me get here and I love it. But let's talk on something we don't love. We don't love bikes that save gas if we belong to a group of people that are trying to waste gas. This will not do it. It is not for you. Pick something different. If you want to waste gas, what you need is probably a Harley Davidson. Go get a Harley Davidson and waste all of the gas. Ask me how I know, my friends. Ask me how I know. But like I said, if your main goal is to waste gas on a motorcycle, do not buy this. Please, please, please save the very, very small amount of money this bike will run you. I know if you like wasting gas, you also like wasting money. And woo, this thing is such a good value for money. It is not for you. But that's just kind of a side reason. Let's move on to reason number two, why you should not buy this motorcycle. The second group of people who should not and absolutely will be disappointed disappointed if they do buy the Honda Super Cub C125 is people who do not want to have a cool motorcycle. This motorcycle is super cool. It shouldn't even say Super Cub on it. It should just say super cool because that's what this is. You're going to go to gas stations and old men are going to walk up on you and they're going to talk about how back in the 70s they had one of these and they would cruise down their university campus and they'd throw old Betty Jean on the back and go down to the malt shop and they would slurp it on up. Yes, pun intended. That's what I I'm talking about if you don't want any of that action do not buy this motorcycle because people will compliment you they will stop you they will ask questions they will tell you how pretty it is they will be all over this thing it is cool it has pedigree it has history it has styles for miles miles that you will not waste group number one so if you want a cool motorcycle this is the bike for you. If you do not want a cool motorcycle, if you want something lame that will attract no attention, that you will not like looking at, that you will not like taking picture upon picture upon picture upon picture of, this is not the bike. Do not buy Honda's Super Cub C125. Trust me on this one, my friends. The third group of people who should not buy a Honda Super Cub C125 is people that are in the market for a really, really unreliable motorcycle. If you want your bike to break down, if you want check engine lights, if you want to constantly wrench on your bike, if you want oil leaks and weird grinding noises and electrical problems and hard parts to break, if you want all of that, you don't want to go get a Super Cub C125. You want to go ahead and get yourself a KTM. But 
This bike will disappoint you if that's what you're after. This bike will run reliably and smoothly and just return lots and lots of economy. This bike will never leave you stranded. This bike will never leave anything leaking on your driveway, your carport, whatever it is that you park in. This bike will not dirty it. It won't give you any fuss whatsoever. If you want some drama in your life, if you want some unreliability, if you want this thing to break down, it is not gonna. So please, 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 I beg of you, don't waste your money on this bike. You will be bummed at how just dependable it is. It's gonna make you feel so bored, so upset that you can't just get all your tools out constantly and fix leaks. It, ugh, God, I can't even explain how little this will leak. I'm looking at you, Triumph. If you want an oil spot on your driveway, please, please, please go buy a Triumph. Ask me how I know, my friends. Ask me how I know. This is not it, Triumph is. If you want a big pool of oil, get yourself a Triumph. If you want a nice check engine light on your dash, hit up your boys at KTM. Do not get the Honda, it will leave you disappointed. And lastly, the last group of people that should not consider the Honda Super Cub C125 as their next motorcycle are people who want to just one and done make a purchase. If you want to buy a bike and then constantly have a subscription fee or a specialty tool you need or every single little feature costs some more money, this is not the bike for you. Once you buy the Super Cub, you are done. You own it. All the tools are basic hand tools. It is easy peasy. That sounds boring. That sounds awful. You want to be able to go waste your money on a specialty tool. You want your features to disappear if you don't pay monthly. That is exactly why you should not buy this bike. You should actually go buy a BMW because every month they will nickel and dime you and it will keep your life exciting. I know that sounds better than a simple one and done purchase. So do not buy this bike. That, that's just it. Don't do it. It's a bad idea to get this motorcycle because it's going to save you so much money and just be so reliable and boring and cheap. You don't want that. You want to waste your money. You want to be just swindled. So don't do it, my friends. But what I do need you to do is click thumbs up so I can keep spreading the gospel and go ahead and hit subscribe while you're at it so I can keep making videos to educate you on why you don't want to buy horrible motorcycles like this. Thank you.